Hello, I'm Dr. Herman, and welcome back to another great video on this website that can help you uncover your disease and help you get well. In this video, we're going to talk about mycoplasma. Mycoplasma is the smallest form of bacteria that's been discovered on this planet. Not only discovered, but also created. I'm going to show you something that's really going to uh, amaze you, startle you, and disgust you all at the same time. But we have answers, we have ways of getting you well. Mycoplasma obtained either from another host or from a common vaccine can be in a vaccine that you've gotten. This mycoplasma can increase reactive oxygen species, which is too much of a good thing on the cell, can cause cell death. It damages cell membranes. It makes these fats in the cell membranes unable to stick together and allows good nutrients to leak out of the cells, and it causes uh, an electrical membrane potential on the cell to short circuit. The energy factory within your cell decreases in its ability to function, and it decreases energy overall over the whole body from this bacteria. Mycoplasma has been discovered as a secret ingredient in vaccines. You can go and type in, if you want to pause this right now, write this down deadly mycoplasma in vaccines. Deadly mycoplasma in vaccines. Type that in in YouTube and watch that video by a great microbiologist who did a whole documentary on this. Mycoplasma. Chronic infections are often misdiagnosed or not even sought. And because of this, infections often are either untreated or are inappropriately treated. This came out of a journal in Toronto in 1997 and the Journal of American Medical Association in 1997, they said that chronic infections are most likely not even, be, the cause of them are not even being detected, they're not being treated properly, they're being mishandled, people are just given antibiotics. And they can't even get this little critter, this bacteria that can kill you. I've got to read a bit more here for you. Mycoplasma, the linking pathogen in neurosystemic disease. Several strains, and I'll give you this, you know what, you can write this down. Write this down. Nexus, N-E-X-U-S, Nexus Magazine, August 2001, Donald Scott. Write that down. And you could just Google that and look it up and read this whole article. It was just uh, disgusting and incredible. Several strains of mycoplasma have been engineered to become more dangerous. They are now being blamed for AIDS, cancer, chronic fatigue syndrome, multiple sclerosis, joint disease, cardiovascular disease, and other neurosystemic diseases. There are over 200 species of mycoplasma, little bacteria. Most of them are not a problem, but five of them are disease-causing. And what it says here is that the, the mycoplasma used to be innocuous, but biological warfare research conducted between 1942 and the present time has resulted in the creation of a more deadly and infectious form of mycoplasma. Researchers extracted this mycoplasma from a Brucella bacterium, Brucella, which I have other videos here. That this, this is going to be about a four or five video uh, uh, sequence of videos that I'll be sending out to you about this mycoplasma. It's just too much information here about this deadly bacteria. And uh, they said that it was weaponized and tested on all the suspect, unsuspecting public in North America. Dr. Maurice Hilleman, chief virologist for, for the pharmaceutical company Merck, Sharp and Dome, stated that this disease agent is now carried by everybody in North America and possibly most people throughout the world. Everybody has this infection. Despite reporting flaws, there has clearly been an increased incidence of all the neurosystemic degenerative diseases since World War II and especially since the 1970s with the arrival of previously unheard of diseases like chronic fatigue syndrome and AIDS. AIDS was a new disease, chronic fatigue was a new disease, fibromyalgia is a new disease. You know, we've got all the pharmaceutical dollars and all this, all these, all these, all these American Cancer Society, let's go raise funds and the pink ribbon and all those, and all these walk for MS and so on. Keep listening to this video it's shocking, this research I found here. According to Dr. 
Shi Jing Lo, senior researcher at the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology and one of America's top mycoplasma researchers, this disease agent causes many illnesses including AIDS, cancer, chronic fatigue syndrome, Crohn's colitis, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, Wegener's disease, collagen vascular disease such as rheumatoid arthritis and Alzheimer's. Dr. Lowe, senior researcher at the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology and one of America's top mycoplasma bacteria researchers, says this disease agent causes AIDS, cancer, chronic fatigue, Crohn's, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, rheumatoid arthritis, vascular disease, Alzheimer's. Do I need to read that again to you? Dr. Charles Engel, who is with the U.S. National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, stated the following at the National Institutes of Health meeting in February of 7th of 2000. Quote, unquote, I am now of the view that the probable cause of chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia is the mycoplasma. I have all the official documents. This is coming from the author of this whole article where I found this research. I have all the official documents to prove that mycoplasma is the disease agent, is the disease agent in chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, as well as AIDS, multiple sclerosis, and other illnesses. Of these, 80% are U.S. or Canadian official government doc, uh, documents, and 20% are from peer-reviewed journals such as the Journal of the American Medical Association, New England Journal of Medicine, Canadian Medical Association Journal. This, folks, you watching this with your chronic disease, cancer, or MS, or HIV, or fibromyalgia, or CFS, or lupus, or rheumatoid arthritis, or diabetes, or neuropathy. This is a, what I found online, and now maybe it's mocked, I don't know. I took a snapshot copy of what appears to be Dr. Shi Ching Lo's United States patent. Why do they issue somebody a patent? They give somebody a patent after they apply for their invention, when they're the only person who was able to create something. Rubik's Cube, I'm not slandering, I'm not trying to bring them into anything, but that was created by one person. There's a patent on that. A zipper, there's probably a patent on that. Velcro, there's a patent on that. How is there a patent on bacteria? Bacteria have been on this planet ever since the beginning of mankind and even before and even will be around after. If, it's, if we have natural occurring bacteria in our environment, how is it that a guy, a doctor, a scientist has a patent on it? That means that for biological warfare, he created it. And it is now infecting people and causing serious, life-threatening, life-changing diseases. To undo the damage of mycoplasma, well, it's going to take a few different things. I tried to give a little highlight here, but it really takes a good, thorough exam in my practice. There are blood tests for this mycoplasma, but we can do a good, thorough exam using kinesiology reflex testing and find out if there's infections in the brain, in the arm, in the leg, and be able to help you overcome it without taking antibiotics. Because what can antibiotics do, as hopefully you saw another video I said, I recorded here about biofilms. Antibiotics will destroy the cell wall of this bacteria and make it turn into another strain of itself. And then it creates another problem. So we need to use natural uh, ingredients to eradicate infection. We need to find out kinds of infection, eradicate the infection. We need to use lipid replacement therapy to help protect the cell membrane. You could look up this Dr. Garth, G-A-R-T-H Nicholson, N-I-C-O-L-S-O-N. He's a microbiologist. Look him up on YouTube. And you can also, on the internet, type in emedicine.medscape.com overview A0104.
and you'll get to read some of the information that I put here. I don't think I need to repeat this again because you can just stop and replay this video. It's frightening. We're living in a world that's toxic. Your doctors are not being trained properly to even know what to look for. The labs that they're using are not giving them substantial evidence or markers of what to look for. When they just look at red and white blood cells and they see the white blood cells, I see so many patients come into my office with these chronic ailments and their doctors run a white blood cell test and they see low or high white blood cells. And I say, what did your doctor say about this white blood cell test? And you know what they say? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? It's a marker that shows something's wrong. Your body's fighting something. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't tell you anything. No, they didn't tell me anything. Huh. So those doctors are not specialists. Those doctors are not good enough physicians to be able to help you get to the bottom of what's causing your disease in your body. If you want to overcome it, I've got methods to help you. I can get through to get the underlying cause or causes of your disease and be able to help eradicate it without causing side effects. You can get well. That's it for this video. But I want you to be on the lookout for the next few days because there's several other mycoplasma videos. There was so much information that I have to share with you. So please be on the lookout for those. Thank you for letting me come into your home and you can get well.